Hey everybody, Ace Trainer Liam here and welcome to another episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or a counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between the Pokemon in question and try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between them just for a little bit of fun. If you're a fan of Form Fight already and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button to show that you're enjoying this series. And of course, if you're new, hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. But with all that out of the way, let's take a look at today's challenges. Today we're going to be looking at the branched evolutions of Gloom which are Vile Plume and Blossom. Now, when Gloom is exposed to a Leaf Stone, it will evolve into Vile Plume. However, if it's exposed to a Sun Stone, Gloom will evolve into Blossom. But what makes these two Pokemon so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, Vile Plume stands at 1.2 meters tall and weighs 18.6 kilograms. Its Pokedex information tells us that Vile Plume's toxic pollen triggers atrocious allergy attacks. That's why it's advisable never to approach any attractive flowers in a jungle, however pretty they may be. Vile Plume has the world's largest petals. They're used to attract prey that are then doused with toxic spores. Once the prey are immobilized, this Pokemon catches and devours them. As for Blossom, it stands at 0.4 meters tall and weighs 5.8 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says when Velosum gets exposed to plenty of sunlight, the leaves ringing its body begin to spin around. This Pokemon's dancing is renowned in the southern lands. A Blossom grows flowers more beautifully if it has evolved from a smelly gloom. The more stinky, the better. At night, this Pokemon closes its petals and goes to sleep. Appearance-wise, Vile Plume resembles, of course, a huge blue flower with red petals, and Blossom looks like a flower crossed with a hula girl, with yellow and green leaves for a skirt and two red flowers on its head. In the shiny forms, Vile Plume's body switches from purple to green, and Blossom from green to purple. Now let's take a look at their typing, weaknesses, and resistances. Vile Plume is a dual-type grass and poison. Pokemon, making it weak to flying, fire, psychic, and ice type moves. It resists fighting, water, grass, electric, and fairy type attacks and has no immunities. As for Blossom, it's a pure grass type Pokemon, which makes it weak to flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice type moves. Blossom resists ground, water, grass, and electric type attacks and, much like Vile Plume, has no immunities. Now let's take a look at the stats and abilities of these two Pokemon. Vile Plume is a pretty standard special attacker with a brilliant special attack stat coupled with decent attack, defense, and special defense, although it does have below average HP and kind of forgettable speed. Its primary ability is Chlorophyll, which doubles Vile Plume's speed when it's sunny. This is great for giving Vile Plume a boost in speed, although granted, if you haven't built your entire strategy, around an ally or Vile Plume setting up the sunlight on turn one, Vile Plume probably isn't going to be outspeeding much anyway, so it's a little bit redundant. Its hidden ability is Effect Spore, which has a 10% chance of inflicting poison, sleep, or paralysis on an opponent using a move that makes physical contact with Vile Plume. Whilst this is great in the sense that it has a chance of scuppering an opponent by stopping it from being able to use moves, or in the case of poison, limiting the opponent's time on the field, it's still only a chance a small chance that the ability will activate, and it only affects direct contact moves. So it's a very, very situational ability. And that's not exactly something you want to bank on as a strategy. Granted, I still think it's more useful to Vile Plume than Chlorophyll. As for Blossom, it loses a little bit of special attack compared to Vile Plume in exchange for being slightly bulkier, with higher defense and special defense. This gives Blossom a little bit more staying power, but it does mean it doesn't hit quite as hard. Blossom's primary ability is Chlorophyll, and we've already talked about that, and I have the same opinion for Blossom. Its hidden ability, though, is Healer, which has a 30% chance at the end of each turn to potentially remove an ally status condition. This is useful, as you'd expect, since it can save an ally from impending doom. However, as we said about Vile Plume's effect spore, Healer is very situational, and even 30% isn't that high of a chance to activate. So while it's a nice handy ability to have, and it's definitely Blossom's better ability, it's still safer to build your strategy around something a little more certain. Now it's time for me to decide which of these two Pokemon I prefer, and I'm gonna go with Vile Plume. And I know a whole bunch of you are gonna be like, oh, it's because it's Gen 1 and you love Gen 1. It's not really that, to be honest. It's just that I prefer the hitting harder in exchange for a slight drop in bulk. And I like the idea of Effect Spore as well. I prefer Effect Spore to Healer because Effect Spore can be useful in both double and single battles, whereas Healer is only useful if you have an ally. Otherwise, you just have a Blossom 
if you don't have it with chlorophyll, it just doesn't have an ability, basically, if it's in single battles. So I'm going to go with Vile Plume. I prefer the look of Vile Plume as well. Like, I've never been a big fan of the look of Blossom. So it's definitely Vile Plume for me. But of course, that's just me. And it's not just up to me. It's up to you guys to decide which of these two Pokemon you prefer. Is it Vile Plume or Blossom? But before you make your decision, let's see these Pokemon on the battlefield. It's time for the Metronome battle. Before we start the battle, I will point out, as always, these Pokemon have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats. They're not holding any items. They've got neutral natures. The only advantage or disadvantage any of these Pokemon get comes from their typing and their base stats. Everything else is all up to the Metronome. Let's Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's Vile Plume versus Blossom, the battle of the branched evolutions of Gloom. Let's find out who comes out on top in this wonderful, wonderful form fight. Look at all those lovely flower Pokemon on the field as we see Vile Plume starting things off, although all these Pokemon are speed tied, so that's something to take into account. Attract does not affect the shiny Blossom there. What is regular Blossom going to do right here? What's it got in store? It's going to go for Sacred Fire from the get go. Oh my goodness, but Blossom is not messing about. Takes down more than half of Shiny Vile Plume's HP and gets a burn on it. Oh my goodness. And Shiny Blossom is looking to follow up on its partner's actions. Goes for a side strike. That's super effective as well. Oh my goodness. Oh, no mercy shown by the Blossom team. And Shiny Vile Plume's gone. Oh my goodness. Shiny Vile Plume is deceased. Oh my word. That was incredible. So uh, this is looking a bit one-sided, ain't it, lads? Jesus Christ. Um, here we see Sky Uppercut. Oh my goodness. That's going to be uh, not very effective though. So that's unfortunate for Blossom. Vile Plume finally has a chance to respond to those attacks. Oh my goodness. Goes for Heal Order. Is going to restore its HP right back up. I'd have probably taken this turn to attack, my dude. You weren't that far down the... Uh the HP chain. Here we see Shiny Blossom in its purple glory. What's it going to do? It's going to go for self-destruct. <laughs> oh my word. It's going to do massive damage to, uh, well, not massive damage, more to itself. Did huge damage, actually, to the Vile Plume. Uh, not so much to the Blossom because the Blossom, its partner Blossom was a little bit bulkier than Vile Plume. There you go. You've seen that bulk in action. Here comes Vile Plume. It's going to go for Mystical Fire. Oh my god word. So Mystical Fire is going to do massive damage to Blossom there and it's going to drop Blossom's special attack, which is its bread and butter, basically. It's all it's got going for it. Poor little Blossom. What are you going to do here? Going to go for Bulldoze. That is going to do neutral damage to Vile Plume and lower its speed, so at least Blossom will get to move first on the next turn. I guess that's a good strategy right there. That's, that's a smart play by Blossom. What have you got in mind here? What's going to happen? You're going to go for Ember. That, again, super effective. This Blossom knows what's up. Apart from that Sky Uppercut, everything else has been kind of flawless. What will Vile Plume do, though, in response to that Ember? It's going to go for Vacuum Wave, which is going to do neutral damage. Bringing it closer to the red, but not quite enough to take down Blossom. So Blossom does have a chance to answer back here. And it's going to go for Giga Drain, which is a complete waste of time. So uh, that, that will add... I think a couple of HP, maybe one HP back to Blossom. Oh boy. Vile Plume, what are you doing here? What, what have you got planned? You're going to go for Mean Luck, so Blossom can't escape. But, I mean, that's a waste of turn because you can't escape from these kinds of battles anyway. But why not? Go for it, my dude. You're in the driver's seat right now. Blossom gets a chance to return the favor. What will it do here? It's going to go for Thunder, but Thunder is going to be avoided by Vile Plume. So now the ball is in Vile Plume's court. What's it going to go for? It's going to go for Leaf Tornado, which is not going to be very effective, but is going to be Stab and is enough to take down Blossom. So that was a short one, but there's your battle. Blossom is down. Vile Plume wins it. And that was just, that was just absolutely elementary, wasn't it? Blossom just, it looked so strong, but Vile Plume turned it around. So you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, now it's time for you to finally make your decision. Which of the two branched evolutions of Gloom do you prefer? Is it Vile Plume or is it Blossom? Let me know in the comments down below and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. And of course, that's where I'm going to leave this episode of Form Fight, so please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe if you're new. If you'd like to support the channel like these wonderful people down here do, you can pledge to my Patreon, it's patreon.com forward slash acetrainerliam. And of course, for live streams five days a week, head over to twitch.tv forward slash acetrainerliam. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam, keep on training.